My eyes are puffy? The star of Gore World? finally over all the good stuff is waiting for you oh my god <laughs> whoop whoop that's the sound of the police huh, huh that's the sound of the geese so you're really going to block the star of gore world just because i'm defending myself against people are you serious the star of Gore World. Hey, girl gang. What up, everybody? It's so good to see you guys. I'm so sorry we are so freaking late tonight. Today has been insane for me. So it was like really, really late or nothing today. And since there is a deleted little little video, I thought <laughs> better late than never. Eh. Our girl put up a little a little something something today and quickly deleted it. I don't know how many of you guys have seen it. I have not seen it, but I have certainly seen the 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 stills um <clears throat> on Twitter. Oh my god. Dirty dirty deleted indeed. Indeed. It's 2 a.m. for you and you're still here though. Oh my god, girl. Girl, it's okay. You can go to bed. It'll be uploaded on the channel. It'll be fine. Bad Broad Abroad, the runaway re revert. Thank you for the super chat. Grandma Spud and I are filming the Chantal movie. Holy moly. Well, good luck to the two of you. Holy crap. <laughs> you seen it? All right. Well, if you seen it, <laughs> we're going to seen it again tonight together. Uh, go get her Frenchie. Holy crap. <laughs> Shred the gnar. I hate you. Thank you for the super chat. Good evening. I love a late stream. Oh, do you? Well, thank you for being here. For this crazy late stream, we never, ever do them this late, ever. But <clears throat> exceptions are made when things are deleted. Ridiculous things with crazy, crazy visuals. <laughs> the woman, again, before we even get started, just the woman who has been coming for me real hard lately. Real, real hard. This was like, you, you just, you gave the reaction community a, a little softball today, and we appreciate it. Lime Jello, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. The Dr. Seuss title gives me like, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I try. Listen, I can't do fancy things, but I try to do clever things at least. So before we get into the deleted, <clears throat> let's just work back a little bit, a little bit back in time because we didn't stream together yesterday. Mm -hmm. Now, after the, our last stream, your girl Frenchie got some DMs from Chantal. Uh, let's take a look at those because she's nuts and I never want to hear another word about she, but she's my stalker. Oh my God. She's stalking me. Let me ask you, would you be sending DMs to your stalker? I know I wouldn't. So shut up, Chantal. Tiffany Dunn, thank you for the super chat. You want that goofy ass laugh in the intro? Ugh, I'm conflicted about that laugh, to be honest. October Moon, thank you for the super chat. Hope you are having a good day, everyone. Why, thank you. I hope you had a great day, too. 
Jennifer Lynn, thank you for the super chat. She is beauty. She is grace. She is throwing food all over the place. I can't wait to watch it. Ah! But <clears throat> we are working in order tonight, okay? Trying to antagonize your alleged stalker too, right? Chantal is the stalker. Interesting. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> so hold on. So she dms me out of the clear blue for no reason at all just because you know she's so happy with her fake new husband this is what i got hold on why can i never see these well this is what i get from our girl okay a picture of me and then mm, totally yikes so I tried to be the bigger person and for a couple minutes I didn't respond, but then I'm not the bigger person. And so I responded with this, say hi. And a nice cozy little picture of BBJ resting peacefully on her little cat tree, living her best life. And then I said, animal neglecting inbred. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> then, um, I couldn't let it go. I tried to let it go, but then I started just sending her a few of my greatest hits that I had on my phone. Pew, 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 a pew, pew, pew. <laughs> and we ended on what I think that was the P.S. de Resistance. Koki, winking like a prick. And I said, eat shit, charmuta. And that, everybody, is the reading of the DMs. <laughs> The dramatic reading of the DMs. Listen, Beach, if you want to DM your alleged stalker, first of all, stupid, stupid on your side, but everything you do is, um, come a little, come a little harder than that. Okay. You can't, you can't have the balls to, you know, pitch something and then it'd be such a weak ass fucking softball. You are so just incredibly easy. Chantal. <laughs> That girl, thank you for the super chat. She really is. Just completely lost her damn mind. I don't know. Stay lost. It, it's funny to me. I, but can you imagine having the audacity to call somebody your stalker and say how obsessed they are with you and then you're the one who DM them? You are crazy. Too easy, you know? <laughs> PG, PJ Equine Lady, thank you for the super chat. Ever said bonk in a comment I made? Are you kidding? No, he did not say bonk. Ever said bonk. Oh my God. Listen, listen, we know he's watching. Did you make, did you make a horny comment? Is that why he had to horny bonk you? That's really funny. I love that he's watching. <laughs> hey, Evie, we love you, Evie. <laughs> 48 hour fiance FFG saved BBJ's little toe beans. Thank you for the super chat. You're going right to jail, Frenchie. Just wait, okay? Yes, that's me. Right off to jail. Why? Because the person who's now harassing me in the DMs says so. <laughs> I love that so much. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Just wanted to say I filed my taxes myself today and wanted to tell you that you are freaking awesome. Like the stream, everybody. Like it. Thank you, Pixie. Uh, congratulations on filing your taxes and doing it all alone. That's fantastic. And it's done with, and everyone else is still scrambling and sweating and you're done. That's great, girl. Marvin, I see you. Hey, Evie, baby. <laughs> Does everybody need a horny bonk? It is too early in the week to be all like, if we're like this now, what are we going to be doing on Friday? Hmm? Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> Susan, thank you for the super chat. I thought she got rid of her Canada phone. What? Um, I, uh, I'm sp I suppose we're talking about Chantel, but what do you mean? What do you mean? I don't know what that means because she messaged me on Instagram. It wasn't a D like a text message. It was a DM on Instagram. Hmm. What am I missing here? I may be missing something. I'm not sure. Princess Becca, thank you for the super chat. It's your birthday today. Happy birthday. I hope you're having a fantastic birthday, girl. Oh, that's great. Thanks for being here and spending a little bit of your birthday with us. 
did she really quit YouTube again? I mean, like, yes and no. She's apparently threatened to quit, but also saying that, well, they, they have some videos to put up addressing certain things. Anyway, we will take a look at the community tab together before we get into the little deleted video, okay? Ms. Booby Buff, thank you for the super chat. I know not the nicest things to say, but she looks like a seal you see at Pier 39 sunning themselves. <laughs> I will take your word for that one. <laughs> really paints a, a picture in the mind. When I saw the picture today on uh, Twitter, I thought right away of that, the caterpillar, the slug thing, whatever the hell it is from uh, Alice in Wonderland. So that's our thumbnail for tonight. Wu-Tang Clam, thank you for the super chat. Am I blocked? I can't see anything. What? Well, you're, you're not blocked or we wouldn't be able to see you. I don't know. Maybe like reload the chat. I don't know why you can't see anything. You should be able to see everything. You're definitely not blocked. Little Seal Girl, thank you for the super chat. Working the night tour at work and sneaking in an AirPod. Grateful for this stream. Okay, I'm going to try not to yell so you don't get caught in the AirPod. Thanks for being here, girl. Don't get caught. Holy shit. Shakira's Jam Jar. Hey, girl, thank you for the super chat. Had an atrocious day. Same Z's. High five, girl. <laughs> thank you for streaming. Well, thank you for being here. Uh, I needed a laugh. I also had a fucking horrendous one today, but that's neither here nor there. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad everybody is here. And I'm glad we are going to laugh at this ridiculous little video together tonight. Jennifer Lynn, thank you again for the super chat. Jabba the Gunt. I like it. It fits. It works. Definitely, definitely perfect for our girl. <sighs> All right. Shall we start on the community tab? I think that's a good place to start. Let me get it. Hold on. Okay. I don't even know how far we'll go back. We're, we're going to start here 11 hours ago because it's like a slippery slope where it's like, how do you even know where to go back to? You know what I mean? So you just got to pick a spot and go. So this is the spot. Go. Uh, okay. This was where she had declared that she was like done doing YouTube lives and she was just going to do stuff her face videos from now on. So then she edits it. Actually, we may do a video debunking a certain defamatory video accusing my husband and his business as being a scam, which of course it is not. And I do hate that I have to defend this, but in a certain community, people get praise for straight up lies that could be damaging. Why would they be damaging? Nobody knows or gives a shit about your fucking husband. Okay. In this community, it stays in this community. It can't be damaging to some bullshit ass company on the other side of the world that doesn't even ship real product or have any product in any stores. How is that damaging to him? It's clearly not. We will not give credit to the original uploader. Okay, Bubble Tea Bunny. However, because we do not want to promote a hate channel, okay, we will put that link to those videos in every single description box from now until the end of time. You don't want to promote hate channels. We like to promote debunking videos and your husband's, uh, if you, your husband, whoever's fucking company that was seems kind of scammy, seems kind of scammy. So yeah, we will definitely keep promoting those videos. Yeah, exactly. Bubble tea. And we, I don't care. I'm going to put it in the description of this live stream when we're done tonight the link to the video that pretty much blew his fucking bullshit out of the water. I'm here for it. Last drama related things I want to address is that all screenshots circulating uh, and all videos relating to salads business are 100% false, fabricated and lies. Don't fucking think so. I realize the reaction community relies on thrives on such fabrications and ridiculous theories, but all are false. I think I have proved a lot since most are determined not to believe me anyway. Believe untruths. Uh, if it keeps you entertained just as long as you know the information is completely false, have a nice day. Absolute rubbish. We don't know that it's completely false. We know that most of the things that you've ever said are completely false. You're an established liar. We've called you out on countless lies. Nobody, nobody believes a word you say. If you came out with a well-formulated argument the way Bubble Tea has, we'd be believing you too. We don't just believe people because they speak. We believe people who come with, with facts, who come with uh, you know good theories that make sense. 
Bubble Tea's videos are fantastic. They're fantastic because they're put together with receipts. You see everything. You see uh, as the clicks are going on. Like you're taking on a whole little story on the videos. And that's why people believe it. There's clearly something to it. You're also really bothered. And that always lets us know that there's something to it. Six hours ago, date night at the movies. Wow. Ma and Pa look miserable. Ma looks like a Sharmuta wearing way too much makeup. Just ridiculous and red in the face because she's probably sweating balls at night in Kuwait and it's not even summer yet. And he just looks like, hmm, fuck my life. <laughs> it's not even deeper than that. It's literally just written all over his forehead. Fuck my life. Five hours ago. Ah, <laughs> this. This one is addressing the video that we're about to watch that she dirty deleted off her channel because she can't stand the criticism. So since people want to fat shame me, the minute I put a video out, from now on, my food videos will not be showing my body. Um, is that supposed to be some kind of punishment? Because that's like merciful to us. Girl, don't threaten us with a good time. There, I want to hold her to that one. Please don't show us your body and your fucking stuffing of your face videos anymore. I don't I don't know. She, she thinks she's punishing us with that one. That is hilarious. Let's hold her to that one, okay? Three hours ago. Yeah. It's actually so sad that people find it acceptable to literally stream for hours body shaming someone. Uh, you've done that for a long time now on your channel. There are literally a hundred channels that do this and the uh, and and more than vile things towards me daily and then try to pin me as the evil one or the vile one. You are the vile one. You are the evil one. People only hate you because of who you are. It's not for no reason and certainly not because you're fat. It's literally disgusting and I will no longer do this to myself. I will no longer post on YouTube. Uh -huh. Sure. I know I have said this many, many times before, but the leeches and bullies have gotten to be way too much for me. And this platform is honestly fucked. You all are sick. I have literally had people follow me in public and take pics of me so they can body shame me. And before you say I body shamed others, I always, always in self-defense against a piece of shit who attacks me every day in their live streams. I guess that's me. <laughs> I'm out. I don't need to earn money this way anymore. And honestly, when people do nothing but steal your content daily just to bully you with, it is no longer be uh, it no longer becomes worth it. Girl, fuck off. Fuck all the way off and I mean that from the bottom of my cold dead heart. No one cares. No one cares. You know that no one cares and that's part of what's killing you. You don't, you, don't, you can't walk away from YouTube. You need the attention and you need the coins. And if you would walk away from YouTube, it's not for any of the reasons that you just listed. It's because your channel is tanking so badly and it's becoming mortifying to you every time you go live. The amount of people watching and the amount of people participating in your chat. You're embarrassed by how far it's already slid. So you're thinking of walking away. But you can't. Because it's like, it's got you. You have fuck all other way to make money. How long do you think salad's going to put up with this shit. Think about it. The guy who wanted to come to Canada and probably saw you as some kind of a cash cow now knows how broke you are. And you're sitting in his fucking dingy ass shitty hole of a living room or when he rented anyway, hmm? on the other side of the world, nowhere closer now to getting to Canada than before he met your blue cheese stinking ass. How long do you really think this is going to go on? <laughs> Just saying. AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here, girl. Okay, that was a nice little unleash. She pissed me off on that one. His bachelor pad. But is it though? Does he even really live there? There's so many questions. I don't believe he does. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Does she think he's going to support her? I think she does. And the irony is it seems to me that he can't really support himself too well. Remember where he was. Remember how things were, right? The guy was living in pretty much squalor and it's not really gotten that much better. 
the place they have now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how this will play out now in these coming months, but I don't assume that Salad thought he would be having a completely broke, you know, person kind of riding out their tax debts in Kuwait. I do not think that was the vision he had in his mind with all of this. Uh, Albs in Wonderland, thank you for the super chat. That's right. That's that pretty, pretty privilege in action. <laughs> we know, we know our girl. This, she's done this a million times. Literally, a mil how many times has she quit YouTube and been back within 12 hours, 24 hours, 48 hours at the most? And that's when she's really trying to blue ball us. Yeah, we know. We know she needs the attention. She'll come back. I was just mad, you guys. I'm sick of all the bullies, you guys. Same fucking bullshit. Always the same bullshit. See you in a day. Exactly. Right? Despectful. Thank you for the super chat, girl. <laughs> I'm so glad you like them. Thank you. <clears throat> Brioche cutie. Well said. She built her own prison. And she thought she was going to love it. All she wanted to do was say, my ring, my husband. She doesn't love this. This is some bullshit. She would love to be able to say, my ring, my husband, but also have all the freedoms she had in the Western world, you know? West Coast girl, thank you for the super chat. No body, a floating head eating. Interesting. It's like when Jenna Marbles did that, um, the mukbang where she green screened her, herself. She could do that. That's a lot of work, but that would be funny. Uh, Huntley Jeff, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. She'll be posting a, a CP soon. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Usually if we're live, she's raging. So hi, Chantal, stay mad beach. <laughs> I think she'll be back tomorrow. It is what it is. AC Hill, thank you again for the super chat. What pretty privilege. She uses so many filters. Yes, but in her mind, that's who she is. And in her mind, she's really good looking. Yeah, green screen Abaya. Oof, oof. Priscilla, queen of the desert. Thank you for the super chat. Recovering from ankle replacement. Holy crap, girl. I hope I hope it went okay. I hope your blah, blah, blah. I hope your recovery is going well. Thanks for being here, girl. Holy crap. Oof. Relax. Take it easy. Chantaler throws a fit. Part three hundred and twenty-six. Right. You think she'll be back within twenty-four hours? I think so too. She looks like the green slug from Bugs Life. Hey, Amna. I need a cup of her delusion right now. <laughs> her Megan husband. <laughs> the robot. Yeah, Marvin, exactly. I can't let the haters win, you guys. I'm just here for you. I just want a bees. I just want to hang out with my really loyal beezers. Oh, God. Vom. You want a poll? She did miss her Twitch stream today. I noticed that. And the, uh, what do you call the, uh, what the fuck did she do last night? What do you call it? Tic Tac? The Tic Tac Live was god awful. I was going to record it. I thought we'd watch it. It was so bad. Oh, fuck that shit. I'm not watching that garbage. If she does one that's like worth a damn, we'll watch it together. But the one from last night, hell no. Okay, I'm making a poll. When will... She be back on YouTube. Never. <laughs> Within 24 hours. Uh, Within 48 hours. Within the week. Okay, those are the options. Everybody vote now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> By tonight? You think it'll be tonight? I think it'll be within the 24 hours. Let's see. When did she make that community tab post quitting? Uh, three hours ago. Oh, yeah. It won't even be 24 hours. You're right. <laughs> what time now? 10? So by 10 a.m., 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'd say in the next 18 hours, she'll be back. That's my guess. <laughs> so I'm putting within 24 hours. That's my vote. Definitely tomorrow. That's what I'm thinking too. Okay. I'm going to end the poll now. This is a quickie poll. <laughs> we have no time for long polls at this hour of the evening. Speak now or forever hold your peace, everybody. 
All right. Poll results are in. When will she be back on YouTube? Within 24 hours, 71%. Within 48 hours, 20%. Within the week, 6%. And never is 1%. Okay, cool. So we're all pretty much in agreement. We will see her before tomorrow. And I love that for us. <laughs> all right. Whenever she comes out next, you know, I will be on it. I will record it because now it's it's literally a crapshoot. She, she deleted this one for today for no reason. No reason except for the fact that she looked like a fucking slug laying over on one side to, I don't know, either lazy to hoist herself up or incapable of sitting with crossed legs to eat the food, looking ridiculous as all hell. And she had to delete this. I don't know if you're going to put shit out and you're going to do that, like stand behind it. What's the matter with you? You put it out, you release the video, let people laugh. What's the problem? Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. Seeing people refer to foodie beauty looking like a caterpillar. My opinion, that's wrong. Caterpillars turn into butterflies and Chantal could never, LOL. You're right. Caterpillars turn into butterflies and Chantal is turning more and more into an actual turd. So you, good point, girl. I'm with you on that one. That's an insult to caterpillars. Delaware Pearl. Hey girl, thank you for the super chat. I have confidence you can drive her back to YouTube. Delaware Pearl, have you seen my, the community tab from earlier today? Delaware Pearl, I don't know if you're aware, you won the Gucci ring. Congratulations, girl. You got to email me. Email me so I can send you your, your goods, your Gucci ring. Frenchfriedgirl at gmail.com. Congratulations. That's fantastic. Slug. Yeah, I think it was a slug. Very, very slug. Very sluggish. <laughs> Vicky White, thank you for the super chat, girl. Oh, you guys are so sweet. You're all congratulating, congratulating, congratulating Delaware Pearl. That's really nice, everybody. Yes, congratulations again, girl. That's awesome. <clears throat> all right. Uh, hold on. I'm still not caught up on the chat. Winter Sun, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. I felt a teeny tiny little bit sorry for salad. Fuck salad. I'm sure he was too scared to eat after she contaminated all the food. Listen, listen, you want to be a charmoot and you want to try and scam and weasel your way to Canada or whatever the fuck you're trying to do. You eat that fucking half chewed, spit it on food is <laughs> what you deserve. <laughs> I stand by that. I fully do. Okay, without further ado, what do you say? Should we take a look at the video? It's very, very short, but I heard very hilarious. So I'm down for a little laugh before we all go to bed tonight. Mm? Ah, let me get the jab. Hold on. All right, we got the old intro going. It's called Eating Makaluba and Kasba in Kuwait. Woo. Mags, thank you for the super chat. Curious how many viewers does she get during her lives? She, honest to God, she, she gets barely any lately. <laughs> like anywhere between 500 and like, I don't know, a thousand if she's got something interesting or a rage of some kind going on, you know? Efraristopoli, thank you for the super chat. And thank you so much for being here. Gemini girl, thank you for the super chat. BBJ looks fantastic. She's getting the life she deserves now. I totally agree. She does. She's happy. She's thriving and she deserves it. Little, little doll. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Oh, oh, oh. Pixie's given a little trigger warning. Everyone stop eating now. Okay. You've been warned, everybody. Blue girl, blue eye girl, thank you for the super chat. It's like watching a child. I don't think I spilt that much when I was a child to be totally totally honest with you. Delaware Pearl, thank you again for the super chat. No way. I never win anything. Thanks so much, FFG and gang. You're the best. Well, congratulations again. I'm so glad you won. And thanks for everybody for participating. We will do another real fun one soon. Oh, and I was so happy to find out that the person who won the My Little Pony stupid <laughs> giveaway, whatever, has a child who was so excited to get the My Little Pony. And that really warmed my heart. It was like, okay, so it wasn't so wasteful and stupid of a prize. I felt really good about that. Just letting y'all know. Boop, boop, beep, beep. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Cash cow, lol cow. It's all the same. I mean, potato, potato, right? Mm-hmm. Oxygen peroxide, thank you for the super chat. Doing my graveyard shift. I needed this so bad. Well, thanks for being here. I hope it goes by 
quickly and you're home sooner than you realize that would be great. Have a great shift. Thanks for being here. Oh, hot wasabi is pissed. I'm fuming. That was my ring. Well, you know what I said to you? Jog on hot wasabi. Wait, I didn't, that was not hot wasabi. Jog on hot wasabi. Jog on. <laughs> all right, let's get into this. This is a short video, all right? Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Hi guys, so please note that unfortunately I was trying out a new mic system and it totally was a fail. So next time I will not be using this and as a result I had to use voiceover for the entire video. I did my best and regardless I hope you enjoy and thank you so much for watching. The microphone did work. Amateur. Oh, amateur. So she goes out of her way. She buys a microphone. She's trying to step up her game on this shitty fucking content. She gets a microphone. Okay. They start filming for the first time with the microphone. And what happens? Nobody checks to make sure that it's actually working. They just film the video, one take, poof, no thought, no nothing, no preparation. And the microphone wasn't working. So she lost all the audio. If that's not the most Chantal fucking thing I've ever heard in my life, just pathetic. Lunar Flower Child, thank you for the super chat. We have not yet received the uh, the results. No. Work for the first bit of the video, but then for some reason just stopped, which is why I had to do the voiceover. Bye. Hey, Lord Baroque, thank you for the super chat. Wait, 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 I can't make your picture any bigger. Does everyone notice a little something different in Lord Baroque's uh, profile picture? Because I see you. I see you. You're wearing the Arby's hat. God damn it, Lord Baroque. You have a problem, bro. <laughs> That's really cute, though. <laughs> Can you smell it on your head? Does it smell like the flaps? I bet it smells like the flaps. You know what flaps I'm talking about. Dede's flaps! so much for the super chat. Hey guys, we're here at Kabsa House to try the food. I'm super excited. Arabic food here, Kuwaiti food, different kinds. So yellow, let's go inside and eat. Ew, she's doing the hard tea thing. Let's go inside and eat. I feel like she did that on purpose. It was very exaggerated. She also still sounds really sick. Why? Why are you out when you're sick like that? Stay home. Don't inflict this on the people. Professional food review. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wu-Tang Clam. Thank you for the super chat. I'm glad it's working now. In and there's these little booths here. There's also cabins you can go into. Very private. Do I have to take my shoes off? Yeah. All right, you take your shoes off. Thank you. Oh, wow. Nice. It's like when we went camping. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hello. Makluba is a trip. It's really weird because she sounds so bad and he sounded somewhat normal. Why does she sound so like weird with that microphone? I don't get it. Ugh. Yeah, and you take off your fucking shoes and then eating right there. The food's all close to her feet and stuff. I don't know. A sadder repurpose. Thank you for the super chat. Feeling second he has to come from opera senate. Yeah. There ha there has to be a reason. Deeper than just, oh, I don't trust her with the key. Like, she can't be seen or something. There has to be something going on.
traditional Middle Eastern dish consists of meat, rice, and fried vegetables placed in a pot which is flipped upside down and then served. The term makluba literally translates to upside down. This dish is hundreds of years old. And I bet hundreds of years old. Why'd you say it all dramatic like that? The fuck? You don't know shit about shit. Why are you saying it like you invented this dish? Nashville Senorita, thank you for the super chat. I'm guessing not since they let her in. <laughs> Bloop. We're going to find out why it's a favorite still to this day. We also got some capsa. Most Middle Eastern restaurants here in Kuwait have these separate room areas, like you saw at Frishwala as well, for families. I love the privacy, I have to say. The yeah, you love the privacy, but not for the reason that they created those private little rooms. You like the privacy so that you can dump the rice all over yourself while you eat, and only the people in that room can ridicule you for it. Hillary Bonner, thank you for the super chat. Server always knocks three times and waits for you to invite him in before coming in as well. We have these at home as well, but most meals here are served on this plastic <laughs> setting. The fucking plastic First up again. is the pomegranate watercress salad. It has pomegranates, watercress, sliced tomatoes, sliced onions, and a delicious pomegranate vinaigrette made with pomegranate molasses. If she fucking says pomegranate one more time, we get it. You just said pomegranate 16 times. If that had become a drinking game tonight, we'd all be dead. Just so we're clear. Pumpkin princess, thank you for the super chat. Here we have. That salad looked like shit. There, I said it. Basic beach salad with just fucking pomegranate seeds on it. Woo some mixed pickles and some mabuch which is chopped chilies green and red and some hot sauce what a good helper sala is here is the makluba served first with a side of tomato broth with potatoes inside mm, a little bowl of tomatoes and potatoes i, I don't know I suppose I shouldn't be bitching about this. They finally left the house. I still don't like the com the content. How about that? Plastic silverware. Yeah, nothing makes sense. The rest of the world's trying to uh, like eliminate all this shit. They're just using it for no reason. Lime Jello, thank you for the super chat. That's so nice of him. Wow. And now the capsa. It's just another fucking plate of rice. God damn. How much rice does two people need? This is ridiculous. All right. First up, I'm going to try my favorite. God, here we go. Pickles. This was actually a really good pickle. Next important thing is to pour hot sauce all over this dish. The tomato potato soup was so savory, hot, and hearty. Savory, hot, and hearty. You sound like a sex phone operator that nobody wants to have phone sex with. Number one. Number two, leaning over like a slug. That That's just, I, I don't even know what to say about this pose. Are you just not able to cross your legs? I think that may be what it is. She just can't cross her legs. I've never seen something so awkward as the way you are leaning over on one arm, eating a bowl of soup. I don't know. It's not even like you're taking a solid bite of something. That's a fucking bowl of soup and you're leaning over. Wow. Just. <laughs> what is this? Man? What, what is this? Feeder content? Mm, could be. Fucking weird. Fucking Jabba the Hutt. I don't know. I don't know. You're supposed to sit up straight when you eat, right? All your tubes are crooked like this. You're going to start fucking choking on that soup. You're all sideways. You're going to dribble the soup everywhere. What an, just a wreck, bro. This is such a mess. Fupa fried beach. Thank you for the super chat. Can't possibly think those filters fool anyone. I don't think the filters are doing jack shit right now. Look at this. What is this? Just. Yeesh. 
All right, enough of the soup. Let's try the greens. The greens were so crisp and fresh and tasty. Oh my God. Yes, look at her left side turning purple. That's hilarious. I saw that on Twitter too. Um, notice one hand pasty, one hand turning purple from the pressure of her body pressing down on it. Notice it. Ariana, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here, girl. Appreciate it. A lot of people here traditionally eat with their hands, so I thought I would give it a try. And forgive me. What the fuck was that little hand motion? What was that? Wait, 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 wait. A lot of people here traditionally eat with their hands, so I thought I would give it a try. And forgive me. You lick all your fingers after every fucking bite. You just got rice in your hand. You throw it down like some peasant. You threw it into the fucking, into the plate of food that ugh, you're sharing with someone else. That's so disgusting. This, you look like a goddamn cartoon right now. Fucking slouched over throwing food like a peasant, man. Crazy. Just, just, I'm not surprised why she deleted this shit. I'm surprised why she uploaded this bullshit in the first place. Come on, man. Oh no, anyone who says anything is a bully and not just pointing out the obvious of how disgusting this is. You, you look at you, and now you're licking every finger. It's just, if you put this shit on the internet, get ready for people to have fucking commentary about it, okay? Me, but I made a mess. I make a mess anyway, but more so now. <laughs> you know, it wasn't that bad eating with my hands. I didn't mind it at all. And throughout the video, I do alternate. Jesus fucking Christ. The rice is going everywhere. That's disgusting. They put down plastic for you because they knew you would eat like a child and you're still getting rice everywhere. That's not how people eat with their hands. You don't just shovel it into your face like that. Why don't you ask your husband? Why don't you have him show you at home in the privacy of your home how people eat with their hands? Because that is not it. That is not even fucking close. There, there's a technique to it. You kind of ball the rice up a little bit and you push, like, push it into your mouth with your thumb. Have him show you, this is ridiculous. You're making a fucking joke out of yourself. This is disgusting, Chantal. And you should be glad that these little cabins are private because anybody who sees this is going to be laughing so fucking hard at you. This is disgusting. You're, you're like every stereotype right now. I don't, I don't know what to say. It's making a mockery out of yourself. Lucky Lola, thank you for the super chat, girl. Oh my God, most important places. Old Port, Old Montreal, uh, every, downtown, you, you gotta see downtown, you gotta see the water. It's the best part of the city. And the julep, of course, you know. You need bagels and you need smoked meat. Between using my hands and a spoon. The makluba was so savory. It had a lot of hints of cardamom and saffron and Middle Eastern spices. Delicious. The only problem at first eating with my hands was how hot the food was, but it turned out to be okay. Did you just see that? No, this is, this is a joke. Did you see that bite? There's more rice that just fell down her shirt than got into her mouth. AC Hill, thank you again for the super chat, girl. Hold on, hold on. We need to see that one again. This, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Delicious. The only problem at first eating with my hands was how hot the food was, but it turned out to be okay. My Jesus fucking Christ. What do you, what do you say to that? How could you put this on the internet? Did you not watch this back because you edited that stupid fucking music over it? Do, do you realize how stupid it is to have that little classic music playing on top of a pig fucking slopping rice all over some little dinette room? Oh my God, the rice is flinging everywhere. You're making a fool out of yourself, Chantal. Oh my God. We're fat shaming her by reacting to this video. This is insane, man. Insane the nerve of this woman oh and she has something to say about anybody who raised you fuck Ugh. shmi <laughs> shmi winter sun thank you again for the super chat 
is it acceptable for women to sit cross-legged? I'm assuming she didn't because she can't, not because it isn't permitted. That's what I'm thinking, too. I don't think she can. Minus the messiness. Now I'm trying the kapsa with a bit of meat with my hands. And the kapsa was actually delicious. It was actually... Four fingers just went into her mouth. Her whole ass bottom lip is about to like unhinge itself. Yeah, look at the color of her hand now. Look at the look at the difference in the color of her two hands. That hand down there with the ring on it is losing circulation. It's turning fucking purple. Red capsa, which means that the rice was made with tomato broth. And there's fried onions in there, and the meat was tender. Here, I was. Thank you, wait, thank you for the super chat. That the fried eggplant was so soft and delicious, and that most things taste good fried. So <laughs> I wasn't surprised that the eggplant was delicious. The chicken was actually really juicy and easy to break apart. And the whole meal was just really hearty and filling and very healthy with all of the vegetables. Very healthy. Shut the fuck up. You ate 10 tons of rice. 10 tons of rice. It's very healthy, you guys. The way she's looking into the camera, too, with everybody is just vomit-inducing. Bipolar Noir, thank you for the super chat. Disgusting. Even fried, at least their vegetables and the greens complementing the meal were also a very healthy addition as well. Why do I eat like a toddler though? <laughs> you see, very good. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, she's got the reverse body dysmorphia. She was eye fucking herself uh, every bite of this, every single bite, and she thought she looked sexy. This was alluring. She didn't realize how ridiculous it looked until everyone started reacting to it. Table knack. Thank you for the super chat. Salad is such a good mommy's little helper. <laughs> you should have gotten her a bib. That's what she really needs is a bib. You know one of those bibs that like catches all the stuff that the little babes drop? She needs one of those in a bad, bad way. Salad, help your mommy out. Hermit Z Frog. Thank you for the super chat. What a good helper salad is, y'all. <laughs> Do, do you guys really do think that this is a feeder video, eh? Hmm. Sexy as a barn animal. Amy E, thank you for the super chat. She did the voiceover because she deaf didn't know the food. Yeah, totally agree. Totally agree. She didn't know shit. She didn't want to talk in that thing because there's people in other booths and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, she just wanted to step her face leaning over like a lunatic. She's like, I'll speak about it later. <laughs> Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Moment of silence for those who had to clean up. Can you imagine? Oh, the poor people. Denny Jean, thank you for the super chat. Chantal has her 900 voice on. <laughs> she really does. Time for a mabooch. And the green mabooch is made with milder chilies. So the red is more spicy. And that is what I'm opting for. And it turned out to be pretty spicy, as you will see Hell yeah, in my Hell yeah, fireflies and dandelions. Thank you for the super chat. I was noting here, basically, that it's easier, actually, to eat with your hands when you're eating something like makuba rather than a spoon because the vegetables are so large and why are you taking such big bites? It's not going anywhere. Jesus Christ. It's easier to eat with your hands than with a spoon? No, it's not. You're making a fucking mess with a spoon or with your hands. Jennifer Lynn, thank you again for the super chat. I have never eaten a hospital food. We climbed that way. The, the, the visual of this, I don't, I don't know. What the hell was she even thinking? How did she look at herself for every bite and not realize how stupid this looks? I'll never understand this. Deborah Hefner, thank you for the super chat. Cokie seven layer slop look better than this. You know what? I think I have to agree with you. And that's so sad because that thing looked like 
heartburn on a plate. And chunky. This piece of fried cauliflower had all kinds of spices and sauce stuck to it, and it was a heavenly bite. So mid-meal, Salah hands me this bowl, and I thought it was just another soup, but it turns out that it was dakus, and one of the bowls was the tomato and potato soup, and this was the dakus, which is a tomato garlic sauce that you add to rice. It usually accompanies many rice dishes here in Kuwait, and it's really good. The tomato is a fresh... To- she can't use a spoon. Do you see? Every time she goes into in with the spoon, things go flying everywhere. What the hell is wrong with her? I don't get it. Sammy, thank you for the super chat. Well, yeah, that's why our video was titled Deleted. I wouldn't have called it Deleted if it was still there. She deleted it almost immediately because she was getting her words fat shamed for it. Tomato flavor, and then you have the garlic as well. The dacus just adds a whole extra layer of flavor complexity, if that makes any sense. In this part, I was giving you an Arabic lesson. Holy fuck, did you see the way she just manhandled that chicken? Jesus Christ. It's like a hawk. Now, I've never seen a hawk, but I imagine when a hawk fucking grabs something, this is how they just get the meat out of it. Look at the way she manhandles this piece of chicken. Complexity, if that makes any sense. In this part, I was giving you an Arabic lesson and letting you know that chicken in Arabic is called Dejaj, which, of course, I learned from my husband. And this part, I was giving you an added Arabic lesson. How about you learn? No one needs to learn from you, Jeja. And yeah, I just called her a female chicken. Fuck that bitch. I don't need to learn about chickens from a chicken. Shut your face, Jeja. Safi. Learn yourself. Kekem. Disgusting. And who just rips a piece of chicken like that? It's so savage. You're so aggressive when it comes to the food, man. Jin Huya, thank you for the super chat. When did Jabba the Hutt start wearing a hijab? Oh, it's what, about four months ago now? <laughs> I think makluba is one of my favorite dishes I've tried so far here in the Middle East, alongside the chicken machbus, which also comes with daku sauce. The fried potatoes are thinly sliced and they practically melt in your mouth. They are so... Oh my God. Fork Sniffers Anonymous. Thank you for the super chat. No, I have not. I was very late coming home tonight. I have seen nobody's nothing. Hi, Frenchie. Did you see how upset Mo translates got about how gross she ate with her hands for the same reasons you mentioned? I'm not surprised at all. All of the olives. Listen, we come from <laughs> like the tradition of eating with your hands. There is a a way that it's done. There's like a, a technique to it. You, you don't just paw at handfuls of rice rice and have them falling all over the place and falling into the communal plate and everything. It's just not how it's done. This is insulting, disgusting. There's no way anybody would want to share a plate with her when they talk about like, oh, they eat with friends and blah, blah. I guarantee they don't. I guarantee they make her make a plate because who the fuck would want that in their food? It's just disgusting. It's disgusting. I don't understand why he would take her to places like this and not just show her the technique. It's not that difficult. You can pick it up. You don't just, you don't throw your head back trying to catch the rice. It's just not how it's done, you know? Delicious and soft. All right, so here I decided to end the video and eat in private with my husband a bit, enjoy our meal turn the camera off and of course we did actually have lots of leftovers the meals were definitely shareable we wanted to get a couple of dishes though just to show you a bit of varieties a couple means two you fucking english major asshole you had three giant plates of rice and all the other accoutrements going on what why do you even try and minimize the massive amounts of food you guys eat or you eat i'm putting that on him zippy hey girl thanks for being here thanks for the super chat so thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye. Here Salah says, thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed our traditional food. And thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.
God, look at that pose. Look at proud husband there with his beautiful wife laid out in the restaurant. Just, yeah. I don't know what to say. Get off of my screen, God damn it. Ugh. Katie, thank you for the super chat. This video is the best appetite suppressant ever. Nasty. Agreed. Agreed. I certainly, it makes you not want to eat rice for a long time. That's for sure. I don't want to eat chicken. Oh, I don't know. The way she paws at things is just ridiculous. Her hand has lost all feeling. It's, it was completely purple, completely purple and all wet. She can't cross her legs. Why would he bring her to a place like that then? I have so many questions. Oh, I also don't really care. Point is, before you bring it to another place, salad where you eat with your hands, why don't you teach her how to eat with your hands? It's not that hard, but there's a definite te like technique to it. Bun Captor, thank you for the super chat. It's Jabba the Hutt and Princess Salad. I like it. <laughs> Definitely fitting. Yulia the Beach, thank you for the super chat. Can she not sit with her legs stretched out either? She probably can't. I'm thinking she can't. She had no other choice than to like lounge. <laughs> Bad broad abroad. The runaway re revert. Thank you for the super chat again, girl. Not you finger lick shaming right as I do it. Listen, you're doing it in the privacy of your home. You're not doing over it uh, a shared plate of food on a video going up on YouTube and then going to rage delete it and blame everyone for fat shaming you. Not the same girl. <laughs> West Coast girl. Thank you for the super chat. She throws her head back and drops the food in, right? That is not how it's done. Not how it's done. And even after all that, what got in there? 25% of the food? The rest went all over the fucking floor and shit? Ugh. Just embarrassing. AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. Wouldn't have mattered if she used Benny Hill theme. I mean, would have worked. <laughs> Definitely could have worked. So that is the deleted <clears throat> video. I think we all understand why she deleted that video. We've now seen it. Um, clearly, people had commentary about it, and it was not very positive. And she can't take the truth. So Jabba the Hutt deleted her shit. Because <laughs> Jabba thought she was looking all seductive laying out there, dropping rice all over herself. <laughs> Asada repurposed. Thank you for the super chat. FFG, what about a pick with Gucci ring in a tub with peeps while smoking minty with FFJ on an Adidas bath mat playing with your backless Adidas? Wow, that is quite the photo. <laughs> Maybe one day we will do that on this channel. Um, That, that would take a lot of planning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Trips the Light, thank you for the super chat. Her mukbangs back in the day were bad enough. This is a whole other level. Mm -hmm. Totally agreed. In my mind, I don't know. Listen, she said that she wants to go back to like eating videos, right? How did she get like infamous on the internet? It was her eating videos. It was the mukbang videos. Her fucking channel is failing in a big, big way right now. Is she trying to maybe recapture, you know, the spark that took her shit off? Probably. I don't think it'll happen a second time. I've been saying this for a long time now. I'm going to say it again. Crackhead Olympics, in my mind, was a game changer on her channel. Everything, there's like two eras in Shantopolis, pre-Koki and post-Koki. Crackhead Olympics changed everything, right? What we had as content before Crackhead Olympics doesn't shock us anymore. It doesn't do anything for us anymore. She set a standard of like shock value, content value, what people expected from her channel during Crackhead Olympics. And I knew that when it ended, it would be very hard for people to swallow the just return to boring that would inevitably happen. And here we are. And it's the return to boring. It's awful. We don't like it. She doesn't know what to do to like fix it. Right. I don't think going back to mukbangs is going to fix it. I think that's way too little too late. Just my opinion. A lot of things have happened since the mukbang days. Um. Uh, Samus Messer, thank you for the super chat. Oh my freaking God, this is some dainty feeder content. It could be. It could be the way she was laid out and stuff. It definitely could be. She's hurting for money right now. Anything's possible. Miss Movie Buff, thank you again for the super chat. She's so disrespectful and disgusting. Greed. Mm -hmm. Sean Toddler, thank you for the super chat. Do you not love how she pawed that poor chicken off? 
and out of that place. No, that was cruel. Yes, it was like watching a bear paw a salmon out of a lake. Why is that so oddly specific and accurate? <laughs> yes, it actually was just savage. Ugh. Christina Nichols, thank you for the super chat. I couldn't wait for you to cover this disaster. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Thanks for waiting for me all day, everybody. I'm so sorry it was late today, but Poo Poo's hit the fan in a big, big way. Adrian, thank you for the super chat. Hi. Laying over to eat almost bed bound. Damn. Damn. <laughs> How far we've come, huh? <laughs> LW, thank you for the super chat. Oh, wait. How can he watch her eat so much? Dude, stop your wife. Lime Jello, you don't give a fuck. We know this. Come on. Uh, never mind, Heather. Thank you for the super chat. It's your birthday. Your 30th. Your dirty 30 today. Happy birthday. I hope you had a great 30th birthday. I hope you're having a great day, girl. Thanks for spending a little bit with us. Peach G, thank you for the super chat. And it was... Uh, so fresh, bish. I mean, it always is when it's in Kuwait, right? All that imported everything. So fresh. Damn it, malarkey meter. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Pomegranate, 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 pomegranate. God, that bag, that how many fucking times we like, we get it. We get it. It's a pomegranate. Chill. <laughs> Girl World Bazaar. Thank you for the super chat. This is illegal content in Kuwait. <gasps> Feeder content is haram, haram. I think laying over. And what you think is a seductive pose is also ham for coins online. Ha-ham. Gluttony also ham. There's just layers of it. Hmm? Poo poo pee pee. Thank you for the super chat. Is that her second stomach, leg, or fupa balls? Listen, <laughs> Kiwi Farms like drew out the bod with a red pen trying to like figure out the parts. Their best guess is as good as mine. Who the hell knows? Sarah Kay, thank you for the super chat. She only making eyes at herself from the scarf up. Maybe that's it. She avoids the jab of the hut bod. Who can blame her? Blue eyed girl. Thank you again for the super chat. I don't think those two ever did the nasty parent. Well, according to Allah. Oh my God. Speaking of it's the 13th of the month. Wow. According to Allah, they did. And according to me, today was Allah's last day. That means tomorrow we will discuss. Okay. I'm not ripping into him tonight. I didn't even realize today was the day. I'm exhausted. It's very late. Tomorrow, tomorrow when we meet up again, it's time to discuss Allah. We gave him his chance. Hmm? Ozzy, Irish, Trish, thank you for the super chat. Does anyone else think salad is a feeder? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm starting to think this might have been some kind of like feeder content though, but I don't think he's the feeder. I could be wrong. There's a lot I don't understand at all of that, you know? Susie Q, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. She's sick and flicking saliva rice back in the plate. Virus rice. Yes. That is disgusting. Man. She shouldn't even be out of the house, in my opinion. She still sounded like shit. You're sick like that? Fucking stay home. Do the world a favor. A chicken, a duck. Thank you for the super chat. I think she has to lie down. If she gets up, her gun won't let her reach the food. Oh, yeah. She's got those short little arms. You're right. Even if she could sit, like, cross-legged. You're totally right. She would not be able to reach the food. Hmm. Lord Baroque with the Arby's hat. Oh my God. What's in your mouth? Is that a fucking Arby sandwich? There's an Arby sandwich in your bird mouth. Mm. Thank you for the super chat. I'll teach you about chicken. <laughs> Does Arby's serve chicken? I don't know if they do. Does it look like the meat flaps? Hmm. I imagine it would. Mary Queen with shots. Thank you for the super chat. I'm sure the aroma of Funkle feet added to the ambiance. Who doesn't love a little blue cheese stank with their fucking macaboose or whatever the fuck? I don't know about you, but when I eat copious amounts of rice, I also want to smell blue cheese all stuck up in my nose. Blech. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. Is that her knee or is her fupa getting bigger? Again, you, you'll have to check the, the picture on Kiwi Farms. I have no idea. Their best guess, better than mine. For real, for real. Ala Murad and salad scammers. I think you're right. I think you're right. The dildo. Thank you for the super chat. This is for a small Arby's beef and cheddar. FFG, try it. We don't have it here. And no, even if we did, but we don't. <laughs> I swear to God, we don't. I probably would have tried it if it's here. Listen, I, I've gotten stoned and tried everything in this goddamn city, but we don't have it. Bless. <laughs> Frenchie just got lucky on that one. Jessica, my theory. Thank you for the super chat. 
Uh, it'd be so funny if they filmed Salad trying to get Chantal up off the floor. See, that's the content we're all here for. They want to make the coins? Give us our content. 48 Hour Fiance, FFG Save BBJ's Little Toe Beans. Thank you for the super chat. Ripping at the chicken because she can't get the cock. <laughs> Perfectly said. Totally agree. Winter Sun, thank you again for the super chat. Her table manners are disgusting. She's nearly 40, not for Cornwall. For real. It always comes back to Cornwall. I don't know what the hell they teach in their people. What did, what are they learning while the rest of us learn? I don't get it. St uh, Stasia, Derek, thank you for the super chat. Newbie, really enjoying your channel. Well, hello there. Welcome to the girl gang. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Um, Hard spun candy. Thank you for the super chat. He was mostly off camera and didn't eat off that plate. Almost like he was putting her out there as a joke. I think, I think a lot of the times he is kind of laughing with us at her. I really do. There's no way he sat there and watched that and wasn't also laughing on the inside. No fucking way. No fucking way. At the end when he went to like, don't put that on the internet. Like he doesn't give a damn. Mm, we know. Emma Wee, thank you for the super chat. Shout out to whoever said hijab of the hut, right? It really, perfect. <laughs> Marvin, thank you for the super chat. I wonder if Salad and his business partner go to better restaurants after the business, of course. Hey, who doesn't love a good meal after some good business? Ah, am I right? Or am I right? And something tells me Salad wouldn't mind sharing a plate with him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. As gross as that was, I think the video of her eating Lachmas covered in chocolate was worth I oh my god, I agree. The teeth covered in chocolate. I still have that video. I still or, or at least the picture of the teeth. Oh, that was something else. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Mandy, thank you for the super chat. She needs a bib. She absolutely does. Maybe next time her son will help her out. Janet Pirate, thank you for the super chat. Could a person use a wrap to grab the food? I don't eat bread. I use wraps. Could a person use a wrap to grab the food? I mean, I suppose. I suppose. You just, they just kind of, you grab it with no bread. You don't need a bread, a piece of bread with every bite necessarily if it's rice. You just, you make that little rice ball in your hand and you kind of push it with your thumb into your mouth. You know, there's a little technique to it. Sammy, thank you for the super chat. Do you think we'll get a rage about this considering how quickly she deleted and community posted about it? Yeah. Yeah. I think it could be a rage tomorrow. By the time she wakes up and everybody's made their content about the deleted video, she'll be pissed off. We know how. We know how she functions, right? <laughs> she thinks deleting it gets rid of it, but we all still react to it. And she's now the only person who doesn't have it on their channel. How stupid is that? Uh, Isabel, thank you for the super chat. Man hands, Seinfeld. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. She got the man hands. But she's also got tiny, weird little stumps. She's she's like a an anomaly, that one. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't know. Girl gangers from Cornwall are punching the air. Sorry to you all. Listen. Listen. Girl gangers from Cornwall have some splaining to do. Maybe they have the answers to some of our questions. Hmm? They could be teaching us all. What the F is going on in Cornwall? Hmm. Mole paws? No. <laughs> she's already awake. Love that for her. That is if she slept. We know she often doesn't. Ah. Oh. FFG wants Ali to reveal what he's up to. He has been MIA. Otherwise, FFG is backing, canceling him. That, yeah. Does that reveal what he's up to? We gave him two weeks from when she arrived. Nothing has happened. Anyway, we'll discuss more tomorrow, but this person is <clears throat> no longer going to be discussed on this channel. I, I'm Listen, I get it. Clout chasers or whatever you want to call it. You want to make a little channel. You want to get it monetized. Respect. I have nothing to say. But don't come in promising all of the community all kinds of shit uh, and then don't deliver. That's not how you're going to build your little channel on us. I'll just ignore like this person never existed before, but that's after I rip into them a little bit. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Stephen R. Pondu, thank you for the super chat. Theory, maybe Salad is uh, making her stay in Kuwait because she quietly hates it because he knows he's not bringing him to Canada. Like a punishment? <laughs> punishment bees in Kuwait. Could be. Who knows? Maybe he's a petty bitch too. Hmm? We don't know him. It's it, Anything's possible. I'd be pissed when you. Mandy, thank you for the super chat, girl. Hey, thanks for being here. 
Okay, well, that was a little brief one tonight. That, that is what she deleted. It's what she gave us today. We didn't get much, but that, that's all. At least it was a, a quick delete. She's pissed off about it. I love that we spoke about it. I hope everybody reacts to it. It's going to set her off. And I like that. I don't care how mean that sounds. She can get fucked. Pam needs to travel. Thank you for the super chat. I hate getting food on my hands. This would drive me crazy. I don't mind it. I love it. I, you know what? It's a vibe. Eating with your hands, that whole like communal plate. It's definitely a vibe. I, I'm, I don't want to do it every day, but I love doing it sometimes. You know what I mean? But you got to know how to do it. You, you don't just jump on a motorcycle without knowing how to do it. You don't fucking just fling rice around at a restaurant either. You ask your husband, hey, I want to learn how. I don't want to embarrass myself. Can you show me how? Maybe you make a little rice at home. Maybe you do a little trial run. It wouldn't be the end of the world. But filming yourself in a restaurant, fucking spraying rice all over the place, you're a fool and we're down for it. Yeah. La La One, thank you for the super chat. This is why... Uh, this his wives were mad about cleaning up after her. That makes a lot of sense. That really does make a lot of sense. If you had to pick up random, just rice flung everywhere, I'd be fucking mad too. While she lays there and does fuck all, you know? Eesh. How embarrassing. Indeed. Oh, let's end with this one. Chins eats like a feral hog. I could not agree more. Well said. Beautiful. <laughs> Y'all, for tonight, we're going to end on that comment. Chins eats like a feral hog. It's just perfect and so apropos. If, big if, if our girl comes out with anything else on YouTube, I think she's going to try and play hardball for the daytime tomorrow. But if she comes out with anything, I'm going to be on it, okay? And we will watch it together. If she starts some fucking TikTok bullshits again, I'll record it. But if it's boring, we're not watching those. I don't want to give her the attention she wants on another app. Fuck that shit. They suck on Tic Tacs. YouTube or nothing. That's how I, in my mind, it should be with her. Whatever, whatever. Again, if she gives us anything interesting tomorrow, fantastic. If not, we still have Doherty stuff to discuss. It's more confusing than ever. It's the only reason I'm still holding off on saying anything. I, I don't know what to say. I'm really at a loss for this one. So maybe we'll just have like a group discussion Doherty tomorrow. I don't know. We'll play it by ears. <laughs> we'll let Chins kind of guide the way, okay? If she gives us something... We're going into Shantopolis. If not, I suppose it's Doherty dozen discussion time. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see tomorrow. All right. Everybody, thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. Again, I'm sorry it was so late. She got wild today. Huh. So thanks for uh, adjusting with me. Thanks for being here, everybody. I hope you had a great day. Whatever you're doing with the rest of your day, please be safe. Keep your masks on. And I will meet you back here tomorrow to discuss one way or another. Bye, guys. <laughs>